All right, guys, part two. So this is going to be how to, or essentially the creative, what videos are performing on TikTok right now and why. Okay, so this is, let me, I'm just going to show you the whole video and then we'll actually go back to all the nuances um, that will come up later on, um, especially in your own creative creation. So watch the video. <laughs> So that video is producing $2 leads, literally unfreaking real. So I want to walk you through a couple things and do note that I have updated the link. You might have an old link and something as simple as this. Notice where the Norfolk is and this. Notice where the Norfolk is. The issue is that while you're creating this video and you're in your own world, it seems fine. But I noticed on the first one that I ran, fan campaign that I ran with it looking like this, I had gone onto a preview and I saw that when you're on TikTok, if you remember, the, check it out, the words and everything are at the bottom, especially the bottom left. And so having a video with the words on the bottom made no sense. So I had to go back and edit that to where the words were up top. Okay. So notice all the words are going to be above center and above because there's nothing up there on the preview. Okay. So that's extremely important. If you're making a video, putting in the time, and then you put the words at the bottom, especially the bottom third, it gets lost in all the, the words that TikTok already has native to the, the platform. So don't do that. The words always need to be above I would say the, the top third, to be honest, to keep them out the way, because the middle third should be your content, sweet stuff, and then the bottom is going to be the words, and a lot of stuff is lost there, okay? So that's the first thing. Opening scene is going to be Norfolk. As you can see on the um, preview here, that this is what the, it looks like. When people are walking in, got Norfolk uh, clear, and it's got the 42-day get fit, okay? Now, what we've got moving forward are the big ones are notice that the music is hypey okay you need to find spend some time finding some music that matches the vibe okay for us it's going to be that hypey motivational boop, 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 gotta build and notice that it lines up with where the beats drop okay that's extremely important it takes time and that is not by accident okay so First off, let's do the beat drop. So like, I think there's one here. And then notice I've got the shake on there, okay? So you have to go in and edit a shake individually, but having the beat drop with the weight on the music and having the screen shake, it just creates a vibe, okay? And so that's extremely important as opposed to, imagine I had crappy music on here, there was no shake, and it didn't line up with any of that, okay? It creates a much deeper experience as far as watching this, okay? Because if nobody's gonna watch it, then there's no point in putting it out, okay? So these little things are what matter the most, okay? I can cut it down a little bit, but there's multiple where they hit. Another, shot shake and drop okay so also notice that's a huge one music bar none probably the most important thing next is notice that I really tried to line up the words to specific things and so a team that has your back okay well here's a clip of our coach hitting or you know after a workout somebody on the back a little pat on the back okay so that lines up that makes sense Okay, we're here. I've got a coach leading you towards. So there's an individual coach leading our team 
right there, or one of our members right there. Reducing stress makes sense, increasing confidence. So this clip was very important because now watch him at the end. Drops the weight, boom, taps that chest. So that dude's pretty jacked up. And so that lines up with um, increasing confidence. Okay, if I'm gonna say increasing confidence, you need to show someone increasing their confidence. Okay, and like, I, I know this seems so just random and not put together, but every video, every clip here has a purpose and it lines up with what we're doing. Okay, start your journey, coming in, high-fiving. And then obviously the logo. Okay, so if you're gonna try to recreate this, think of those things. Think of the music, think of the beat drop, have it synced. Don't make your clips any longer than three or four seconds because attention spans are low on TikTok. So there's this is a 50 second video and I've probably got over 10 clips here, okay? And so keep it going. Um, and then as you walk them through each step, you can change the words to try to take them on that path and they need to be relevant. Don't say losing weight and then you're over here just back squatting. Like, it doesn't it doesn't paint the picture of losing weight if you're going to say losing weight then have someone sweating or like at least like maybe next to a picture that you have hung up so we have pictures in our gym so maybe i would have them with their before and then their after kind of right there like get creative with what it looks like and have it be relevant to the words that you're saying okay so it is that detailed because you know when it's sloppy and it doesn't line up they didn't perform Okay, I had my best testimonial video that was professionally shot um, from Facebook come over and it was actually the worst performing video on TikTok, okay? And to flip that, the worst Facebook video that we had was our best TikTok one, okay? And that was actually this one, which I'll show you just to humor you. Um, let's see if it would... Okay, yeah, we have it. But notice, like, it's crazy. It wasn't designed for TikTok. Because obviously it's horizontal. But listen to the video. Listen to the music. Super simple, very short video, just words and walk through, but the music was synced. It was kind of, you know, a build up. And so those are the most important things for the creative. Um, I have uploaded a, a link to a white label, which has taken out Norfolk, so the location. So you're gonna put your location up top here. And then um, the logo at the end, you're just gonna cover that up with your logo and in shot. Okay, so I've added, that link, it's on, you'll get it on the, the doc that we have, but um, InShot right here. So you're gonna use InShot to add your location and the logo. And then Babos New Way is the font that I use. That way it matches perfectly for you. Use all white and that'll get it looking real good for you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. All right, hope that helped.